Safiya says, is not wearing the Islamic hijab a major sin? What is the punishment for women who display their makeup and clothes in public? There is an Arabic word for this, which is tabarruj. And this word was mentioned in chapter 33, where Allah Azza wa prohibited exposing your aura as a woman like they used to do in pre-Islamic era. وَلَا تَبَرَّجْنَا تَبَرُّجَ الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ And this by itself is sinful. Whether it is a major sin or a minor sin is not of great importance to us because when a Muslim looks at the size of the sin, he neglects whom he is sinning against. But if you look at Allah the Almighty, His greatness, His excellence, and that you are sinning against Him, who's all watching, all hearing, who provides for you, who controls every breath you take. You cannot inhale without his permission and you cannot exhale without his permission. Yet you insist on sinning, then you are in great trouble. Whether it is a major sin or a minor sin is beside the point. A major sin, as defined by scholars, is every sin that Allah Azza wa Jal has placed a prescribed punishment in this dunya, such as slandering, consuming intoxicants, fornication, adultery, stealing, etc. So either there is a prescribed punishment in this dunya, or Allah Azza wa Jal has placed a curse on those who do such things, such as dealing in usury, riba, interest-based loans, bribery. All of these, whoever, do, whoever does such things is cursed by Allah Azza wa Jal. Women who pluck their eyebrows, people who apply tattoos to others or to themselves, women who wear hair extensions, etc. Or any sin that Allah Azza wa Jal told us that whoever does this will be admitted to hellfire. And there are so many of them. Therefore, if you look at not abiding by the hijab, a woman who shows her hair, or wears revealing clothes, or wear makeup, and does not care whether non-mahram men look at her or not, is this a major sin or not? The Prophet told us, alayhi salatu and the hadith is in the Sahih, that there are two types of people he did not see, yet they are among the people of hell. And he mentioned one of them to be women who are dressed yet nude, meaning that either they're wearing transpa uh, transparent clothes, you can see through it, so that she's actually nude, or she's wearing tight clothes that reveals her aura, her body curves, her bone structure, as if she's not wearing anything. And the Prophet said والسلام, that they wear their hair on top of their heads like a camel's hump. When they walk, they walk in a way that is a bit tilted and would make others tilted as well when they look at them because of their beauty and their charm. So the Prophet told us that they are from the people of hell. In another hadith, 
He said, curse them because they are cursed by Allah Azza wa Jal, which is an indication that this is indeed a major sin. Therefore, whoever does such an act of exposing her aura, her beauty, in a fashion that would turn heads towards her, she's either committing a kabira, a major sin, or a minor sin. And this depends on the level of her tabarruj. A woman who covers her body totally, only exposes her face, yet wears makeup, eyeliners, shadow, uh, uh, foundation on her skin. She is doing tabarruj. But her sin is not as severe as a woman who exposes her hair or wears revealing clothes or tight clothes, etc. And as I said earlier, one should fear Allah Azza wa Jal by not indulging in sins and asking whether it's a major or a minor one, rather to look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who he is sinning against.